Hello everybody and welcome back to Machinki, where today we are going to start expanding so that we can, first of all, be making more money, and as well, just getting into the next age. We do have enough to be able to get into the next age in terms of the tokens, but I want to hold that off for just a second as we plan how we're going to get into other areas because most of the tracks right here are very, very, you could say full of just track needs. And so we need to get a another place where it's going to just bend off of it. And I think right here would do. Okay. We can get it in that direction from there, which would be okay, but it wouldn't be the best. You know what? We might have to bend it off from up here as well, and we'll just have two lines that kind of merge over here, and then a big T-section right there. One to go down this way to get to the towns down here, and the other one to go north to get to, well, to get out of the area because we are in the bottom left corner. So going up and right would be the best way to get out of the this little area. So let's start with the idea. Okay, so that's the sharpest it can curve. So let's put that down. This I want following just the same right after. Let's get some signals in here so we don't break everything. Just right there, right there, and right there. That There we go. That should allow that intersection to be okay. In fact, do we want it going diagonal that, that entire way? Because we do have some trees right here that I don't want to get rid of. <laughs> So you know what we're going to do? We're going to actually build this up and have it curve right there. Because, like I said earlier, we, we need to have it coming up this way so that we can have more trains that would come into this town as well. So we are going to have it come off of this train section. So we're going to lift up. Actually, you know what? be easier to do that. And I think I got rid of some forest on that side. Oopsies. But that's fine. So up to there is fine. It's going to eventually curve to this point anyways, right? Yeah. Okay. So we're going to have it come out and curve up to there. Let's get these signals in because it could cause problems if we did not. Just like that. Okay, so... And this side is long enough to hold a train, so I think this actually might be good enough just to merge at this point. Even going behind the train station to just actually just flat out merge. So we're going to pull this out Say one, two, three, four, five, six. We'll pull it out seven because I expect that these are going to merge a little bit. Oh, it, yeah, it needed to be eight to be exact, but just a real easy merger right there. And this will allow trains to be able to. Oh, dear goodness. Okay, you ignore next. I think that might have just been a mistake because there's no reason for him to have stopped right there. As you've seen, there have been oddities every now and then with the signals. Yeah, see, everything's good now. Oh, maybe because... Oh, okay, so it enters and it being part on this track, but it also denotes this track a little. 
So that might have been the issue. And it only does that one time, it seems. I could be wrong, but... Let's keep an eye on that. We can put a signal right there, but I really don't want to. <laughs> too many signals can cause too many points in, wi in which the trains can stop, which then can cause a backup. Like, right here, this little intersection point has a real chance of backing up if too many trains start coming through here, especially from the sawmill. So, I'm going to have to keep an eye on that. <laughs> so, let's see here. This is a massive mountain. If we could get it through right here. That going up. Oh, wow. It, need, it would need to turn immediately, if not a little sooner. Hmm. I think... Now it would need to be one back for that. Okay. Well, that's fine because it's gonna. It would have eaten up all the forest right there, anyways. But that is fine. Have it curve that way. Have it curve that way. I'm not sure where it's gonna go in this direction, so we're just going to leave it pretty much as that. But then we need that curving around and that curving around, and then a through. Because we want this a T-junction. Just like that. Okay. So we're going to be trying to bring this down to this city, which is quite far away. But then once we're down here, we can start connecting it to all these little cities out here as well. So, you know what? Actually, let's go into the next age so that, so that we can see where the iron is. Oh, wow. Are you serious? Does that mean the station will be getting... I yeah. Okay. And mail. <laughs> this is going to be a very busy station. <laughs> hmm. Okay, so we need an ironworks. Or steelworks. What are you called? A foundry. Which this is going to be going up to, apparently. <laughs> hmm. So, I wish you could curve tunnels a little bit, or at least do a diagonal tunnel. I would do that right there so much. I might just pull all of this hill down to this level. It, it's not going to look terribly pretty, but not much more I could do. We'll need coal going up that way. Oh, dear. Nope, there is something just wrong with this intersection. Hmm. Maybe it's this point. Yeah, it's this point right here. We need that and that. If it's an X like that, that's right. It has to be like that. Okay. I forgot. Because we have that down here, as you can see. So, nothing new. I just... Made a mistake. There we go. Now everything should be running just fine. Okay, so... We do have some ironworks, but I do want to get to another city, because we do need to be making a lot more money. Delivery of coal. Get iron going. Have six trains. Going postal. Getting this locomotive, which does cost coal to run and it's very fast and it's very has a lot of horsepower but first to be able to get anything new we need a locomotive works which because everything's so close around here it's going to be off to the side like that so with the locomotive works we get the Russian which costs coal to buy and to operate we get the Prussian, which I've been using, I used a lot in my other game. Not as much horsepower and very costly with the money, but it's super, super short. This one is amazingly long, has a ton of horsepower, goes the fastest, but it's super long. You can't hold as many trains, and that's why I'm, I've, I was using the Prussian so much. It's only 0.57. You, you know how many more cars you can fit with 
that being so short? <laughs> Anywho, enough of me yammering. We need to actually get to building something. And I did say I wanted it to come through here. It does need to go up the hill. I'm not sure quite how much. Let's put it in high speed. One thing I do wish was that there was a way to tell the height. So you could like so you could take a measurement here and then say take a measurement out here. So what we're gonna have to do is we're gonna have to wait for the snow to pull back to see where this elevation actually is. Oh, and you have iron like right next to you as well. Oh my goodness. That's gonna be a big station as as well because we might as well use the iron so oh wait no oh wait um we're good we're good let go slope pause okay so right there is where the snow line is is where it needs to be so let's take a look yeah okay so at this level so let's start digging into the mountain here to ensure we have a good. Oh, oops, that was up, not down. To make sure we have a good slope. And it was this level, right? Or am I too high still? I'm too high still because that is snowy. Okay, so we go so hard to tell with this sometimes. Especially when it's this mountainous. Okay, so we go down to here. We need... This is right along the tracks, right? Oh, no. It, that's off. Oh, dear. Okay. So, right here. I do believe. This music is catchy. No, wait. This goes up, and then this is not covered so if i say up to that no that goes up sideways so that was level to it it's just going up in this direction oh gosh dang it wrong we want that to be playing now because we do know the approximate height Okay, we know that that just disappeared, so we do want it lower than that, and that is too lower than that. So about right there, maybe? Hmm. I'm going to have to see again, because one long... Ooh, but yeah, that's right. Yeah, that's right. I lined it up correctly. Okay. Hmm. But that's not going that way. Okay, so while we wait for the cold months again, let's actually get this one. We'll just drive it straight through diagonally right there. Okay, we can get it to curve to right there. So let's drop that. It's June. That's the thing is if you have it in high speed too, it does not take long to get to the next season. <laughs> Maybe we should have it come up one, actually. Now that I think about it, might be a better idea. Just like that, I do believe. So this one curves, this one curves. And the reason being is that it would reduce the amount I need to cut through here by a little bit. Mm, right there, there. I think I cut this out. And it's gonna look better if I can keep it like that. Okay, it's getting into September, which means I'm gonna need to get over to the mountains. October, the snow should be moving down. Let's make it go a little slower so, so that we know when. So this is flat. Maybe a little faster? No, it's it's expanding. We can see it. 
Should be... Okay, maybe a little faster. Come on. And... Right there. Okay. So did we get it right with the level? We did. Okay. So we just keep it level to that point. Right here. And we can leave everything running so that we can get extra money while we go. Or money so that I can keep doing stuff in general. <laughs> okay, so that is decent. I think it goes up three or four right there. Or two or three. It will modify the terrain to bump it up to four though. Two. Yeah, it is three. Okay. But... Ooh, we might pop out a little over here, too. Well, not pop out, but it will kind of dig it in. So our first major desire for a purchase. That's going to take a lot. Okay, maybe high speed. Let's get a little more money. Now, the biggest problem about tunnels is that you can't have more than one train going through it at a time. So you really do want to make sure that you have some room behind a tunnel before you have any sort of junction because it can back up that tunnel quite a bit. So in the meantime, while we build up some finances, we will actually keep going with this, which I know eats money too. So, but the idea is hopefully we're making more then we're spending. And I think just have it go straight here. Have it curve up into these two. So if we start pulling this one back. And that is two down. Which means that a tunnel would look really ridiculous here. If it's not at least four tall. A tunnel is going to make it look very, very funny. So, two, three, almost four tall right there. Because it needs to be four tall for the train to get through. So, oh, that is a different altitude. Okay. Well, we'll fix that here in just a second. Or we'll try to figure out what we're going to do with that concept. It's too different. Hmm. Okay, well, let's make that flat. Then we'll have an incline right there, I do believe, because I do believe... Yes, we can have it curve up onto it like that. So let's connect these through. And are we having full passenger trains? Where's our passenger train? There it is, 72. Oh, wow. Yeah, okay. So that has a lot of people. So you know what? Let's get another train. In fact, one of these Prussians. Now here's something interesting, and I think this is a little bit of tweaking to the, to the bells and whistles, I would say. This income increase, this 10%, is not really worth it. Because if you look at it, it carries... Or did they balance it? It carries two less people. No, it, th yeah, they, they need to balance it a bit more. It carries two less people. It's about 25% 20 longer. A little over, like, actually more like 30% longer. Yeah, it's 30% longer, carries two less people, and but gives the 10% income. But the issue is, is it's 30% longer. I could just get another one of these and get more people so that 10 percent increase not really worth it especially for first class i would say second class maybe the 10 percent because if we take the 30 percent of this that would be about six right so that'd be 24 approximately people so that and that equals out about what second class is so, oh wait, that means second class is a little, oh wait, where's my calculator? Not 
in the office. Okay, well, the idea is, is if you did that little take the capacity divided by the length, you'll actually get a number to compare it to. And so, and then this, the dining car, 25% more, but it carries no people. So basically, you would have to have enough prior cars to make a dining car even worth it because you have to overcome the fact that it makes no money on its own. So, because I forgot my calculator, <laughs> I can't really open anything easily from here. We are just going to get a bunch of coaches for now until I could actually figure out how good this would actually be. We have up to five. 25, so we can throw on a little kind of caboose-esque Pullman to get it pretty good. Yeah, that's about 50. Okay, so your orders are simply going to be a second train, which goes between there and here. And go. Because you're going up first, it's going to be easier for you. And you fit. And you hold 80 as opposed to the 72. So we do get eight more people based on that, which is good. Okay, continuing on, we have the foundry up here, which we're working towards. Of course, we do have enough for that tunnel now. The biggest issue, though, is that we need two. So we're going to... This is why... We need more money production because even at high speed, we're not making enough for this to actually go very smoothly. And as you see, it did not take the money. And that's why I say that the, that the tunnels are a little broken at the moment. So that you need the money. Because watch the money. Ready? Three, two, one, go. It went down... A lot less than that 1600 <laughs> so we need the money to get it there just it doesn't need the money to actually build it or something of that nature so what we are going to do now is that we need this train to be able to get down this hill or a train to be able to get down this hill at least there is no train on this yet so it kind of hard to say to get this train down the hill. Okay, and it can slide down right there. Can slide down right there. And it does need to get all the way down there. We do need to cut some holes through these hills. Say right here. Oh, oops, dang it. Not my intention. Okay, leveling tool. Much easier. Hiya. And hiya. It will start going up on the incline about right here, I think. We will have it. Just right there. Although I do like the concept that it kind of goes into that right there. Okay, now let's draw the track out all the way. But yeah, see that length is about the same as the tunnel. And as you can see, it costs about the same as the tunnel, or with how much the tunnel took from the finances. Oh, hiccups. Excuse me. So, we have that. We have both tunnels, so that means we can try to drive something through to over here. Let's... I think the best idea would be right here. So let's draw it outside the forest. Let's not destroy any of the forest yet, because I do like the forest. And we can make a little valley through there, I do believe. So we need it to hook up to that, which would require it to get down to this point over here. So we're going to have to bump up say this piece and this piece so that the trains can turn on to that 
oops, and I clicked off it. Let's get it curved out to there and then through this forest. Okay, so that is looking actually pretty good so far. Now I'm wondering how I'm gonna do the station over here because it's only gonna be able to go out four. So one, two, three, four, unless I can extend out down this too with some of the structures. But I am gonna want a station right next to it too because uh, it can and it can be far away from that. Two, three, four. So it can start right there. Two, three, and then out to five. That should be able to get people too. Let's slow it down for a second, and let's get some of the extensions built. Say we'll have the waiting room go down this side. So, waiting room, we'll say the restaurant down this way. That way we get everything. Now, it did say that there was a change, that town roads are now town roads, which means, okay, anything before the November build that was loaded, the roads are yours. So, you can delete road pieces, so we can still kind of manipulate the how we want everything to come into the city so let's lower this to being level so that we can incorporate it as part of the city out to there we can have that come out wait not out to there let's get rid of that let's change that road to being a t-junction now then, let's figure out how we want this to go. I'm thinking away from each other. So out to there and then straight. And then we have the other station just right. Actually, you know what? Extensions, freight station. Have it on that side rather. And then we will build more station Station is too large. Shouldn't be. Huh. One, two, three, four, five. That is five long. Oh dear, I just realized I penned in the iron ore and it has some very large extensions. Very large extensions. Hmm. You know what? Okay, so we're gonna... We wasted some money. Let's get rid of these two things. We'll have the extensions. The waiting room will actually put more like... I can't see. Yeah, like that's fine. And the restaurant just right next to it. That way we have all this room to be able to expand the iron mine out. Let's see if we can't get some of these in. The second head frame doesn't seem to work very well. And I'll get back to why that is in a moment. Well, that's... I'm not going to be able to continue the train track. Not that it actually appears, though. So. And then the offices would work just back here, I think. And then the tunnel timber supports. Oh. Oh, that was all the pieces. Okay. So it kind of wraps around. You know what? I, I know I'm wasting stuff by deleting that, but extensions, the offices. I really kind of want it right here. Oh, can I? Oh, it would have to be right there. Which is fine, because we can then put the tunnel timber supports. Huh. That is really kind of weird. Okay. 
Well, we'll put the t tunnel timber supports in, even though it doesn't won't actually do anything until we get actual planks there. But that allows us to have the, and now it's not too big. I am confused. <laughs> hmm. Okay, so that's another thing is confusion about how that works. But that is the end of the episode. So thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, please do leave a like as it does help the channel. And do subscribe if you're not already to catch the next episode as it comes out. If you have any comments, questions, or suggestions, please leave those in the comment section below. And I'll get back to you as quick as possible. And I will see you guys in the next one. Have a good one. Goodbye.